everyone welcome back to the channel this is Don Anderson the Lone Star as you guys know I am a licensed mortgage loan originator aka mortgage broker guys I am NOT a realtor a lot of people email me saying they know I'm a realtor and I can help them I'm not a realtor I am a mortgage broker what I do is I get the best home loan for you the best possible interest rate for your situation the lowest fees possible and the best program to fit your home buying needs whether you're an investor whether you're a first-time home buyer whether you're using a jumbo loan your luxury home buyer I'm your guy that handles the money anyway my NMLS ID is 1946644 I am licensed in Arizona California Florida, Georgia, and of course, the great state of Texas. Now guys, today's video is actually going to be about the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm going to cover some areas like um, Fort Worth, Mansfield. I'm going to cover, let's see, Collin County. I'm going to take a look at like South Lake, Frisco, uh, Plano, just different things that I'm seeing in the market doing this every day and actually talking with different realtors and of course buyers just like yourself are people interested in purchasing a home but before we get started if you find my content useful please go ahead and hit that like button make sure you are a subscriber i know 90 percent of you don't subscribe to the channel so please subscribe nevertheless let's talk about what's going on in the housing market no surprise guys we're seeing big big hits happening because of what interest rates we've already went over this before we understand that interest rates were artificially low which allowed a bunch of people to buy homes or increased demand essentially insane demand even investor demand that caused basically a shortage in housing made it very competitive so what do people do when there's high demand low inventory low product to sell what do they do they jack up the prices Prices were jacked up and jacked up and jacked up because people could afford buying these homes at higher prices because interest rates were extremely low. As we're talking, some people were getting interest rates at 2.5, 3% on conventional loans with perfect credit or excellent credit. That is absolutely insane. So what you see or what you saw is prices shoot up. Now, this isn't, what is it, Newton's law of relativity. This isn't what goes up must come down. But I will say, if people can't pay, prices have got to drop. So what are we seeing? We're seeing in places like Aubrey, Prosper, um, the hot areas because people couldn't get into Frisco because the, it was a little bit too expensive. We're even seeing homes in Frisco. We're seeing homes start to go down in prices. We're seeing forty, fifty thousand, eighty thousand dollar price cuts on the wish price that the sellers are asking for. Why do I call it the wish price? Well, a lot of these people bought houses in 2017, 18, 19. They may have paid two fifty, three hundred thousand, and they be they may be trying to get six hundred and twenty five thousand dollars for a house that they paid less than half for a few years later that is wishful pricing but everybody sees the dollar they want to grab the money and run that's what people do that's how they think a lot of these people since they see the opportunity to make double the income or double the equity on a house that they purchased a few years ago they want to take that equity and dump it into that big eight hundred thousand million dollar home and keep the same payment but that's not happening the interest rates are catching everybody by surprise. The interest rates are whiplashing the builders. Builders thought they could get away. They told you and I, oh, there's a shortage, so we have to charge an $80,000 premium on these houses now. Guess what? People aren't buying the new bills either. So the new builders are begging realtors. They're offering higher commission than they've offered in the last three or four years. They're actually offering big builder incentives, even if you don't use their lender, guys. They're offering twenty, thirty thousand dollars dollars 30000 in incentives, even though the property still might be slightly overpriced. Just got to be honest with you. 
But they're offering all these incentives to get you, the borrower or the buyer, back into the market because everyone goes out of business. If we can't sell inventory, if I can't close loans, I go out of business. If builders can't sell in their inventory, they go out of business. They go bankrupt. You guys remember during the first fi the financial crisis in our lifetime around 2006 to 2010, you remember when a lot of builder communities simply vacated and left unfinished buildings, unfinished units, especially in places like Phoenix, Arizona. So what we're seeing right now in Texas, sellers, they're panicking. They're waking up. They're always late to the party. They're realizing, gosh darn it, I should have sold when interest rates are much lower. But what does that mean for you? If you are buying a six, seven hundred thousand dollar house, you're in that price range. Maybe you can sneak in, get a fifty thousand dollar discount. Even though we know they're slightly inflated from where the prices should be based on historical averages of return we understand that but maybe it's your opportunity to get that property if you had your eye on listen these sellers are getting desperate just because something says that it's selling for 725 doesn't mean you necessarily have to pay 725 now granted if it's a hot area there's only one house up for sale that house probably won't last long let's be realistic but if you see, if you're doing a search and you're looking in Frisco and you see a neighborhood with seven houses for sale, they're all five bedroom, three and a half bath, they all got a pool, and everybody is just sitting there for a month, two months, come in with your offer. If you're a serious buyer, come in with your offer. If they're a serious seller, they may just unload their property. Because remember, the price that you see is not what they paid for it everyone's looking to cash out including their realtor but at the end of the day if that realtor can't sell that property they lose that contract they lose that deal they don't feed their family so it benefits everybody to lower the prices when needed especially when there's a motivated buyer like yourself so i want you to keep that in mind while you're out here hunting in the dfw area uh, we're talking about mansfield you know that's an area that's one of my favorite areas seeing twenty thousand thirty thousand dollar price cuts in that area i'm also seeing homes that would have come on to market at in the 450 range 500 range now they're coming on the market around the 400 to 420 range fort worth we're seeing the same thing you're actually seeing a lot of builders for some reason a bunch of builders have a lot of inventory in fort worth they're slashing prices i guess a bunch of people fell out of contract you got all these things happening, guys. Now is your opportunity. You know, when low interest rates happen, that may have been your opportunity, but you might have been like one of those people that said, price too high. It's way too high. I can't buy. I don't want to buy. I remember when these houses were $100,000. I'm not paying three fifty, four hundred. dollars I'm not paying five hundred. dollars But now you see what's happening with the interest rate. The lower the price really doesn't mean much because interest rates still steal your wealth. So... Take the opportunity if you're serious. Do what you need to do. Focus. Save your money. I don't know how much time you're going to have to make these moves, but I'm telling you right now, people are getting nervous. But the more time waiting, the more time you wait, some of those sellers might just decide to keep their houses. And people are okay with waiting. A lot of these houses were, you know, like I said, built in 2018-19. Why are they moving anyway? They're moving because they saw an opportunity. Don't let their vision from the opportunity pass you by because you're being stubborn. Remember, rates are subject to change over the future. I'm not saying that they're going to go extremely low again. It would take a major calamity. But you buy a house to live in, love it, raise your family, safe area, stability. Those are the reasons you do it. The second reasons you do it, future investments. Third reasons, future of equity. I hope this video finds you well, and if it's helped you, and this has woke you up, now you're ready to go out house hunting, you don't have a pre-approval, reach out to me if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. You may be seeing this in Arizona, Florida, definitely seeing it in Florida, Georgia, and Arizona, actually. California is a little bit different, but if you're in any of those states, reach out to me. Let's have a consultation. I can help you get a loan. If not, I'll tell you where you stand, and we can work together to create a plan. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Don't just date me, marry the channel. Have a great day, guys.